Here is a surgical video depicting the procedure. The trabecular meshwork is well visualized here. The scion tip inserts Schlem's canal with ease, despite being blunt tipped. Once I'm in the canal, I am able to move the tip of the device along the curvature of Schlem's canal uh, to perform the goniotomy. Take a look at this window and you may see some motion within it. This is where the strip trabecular meshwork is accumulating within that trap. Again, I'm feeling no resistance and not getting caught or stuck anywhere, likely due to the tip being blunt. And usually at the, toward the end of the goniotomy procedure, which is here, uh, you remove the goniotomy device and there's a long strip of meshwork that you have. And you could either leave it in place or remove it with micro forceps. What's unique about the scion is that it actually will grasp the tissue within that trap and amputate it, as you just saw being done here. You're now looking at that ball of trabecular tissue within that trap. And at this point, I'm visualizing it and noticing that it's just a round glob. Uh, it looks like it's been coiled up or accordioned in that trap, and it's not really looking like a strip anymore. And so to prove to myself that this indeed is a strip of, strip of trabecular meshwork that's been very well coiled, I'll take tying forceps and grasp each end and see what happens. And in this case, you'll see that it unravels very nicely. And you do indeed have an entire excised trabecular strip all done without a blade.